What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at what if Germany won World War II? Thank God they didn't. I'm glad they lost because if so, I'm not. It wouldn't have looked the best for Jews out here. All right. Um, if you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Twitch. Links in the description. We're live every day. And without further ado, let's get started. All right. Let's see what this is about, chat. Let's see this. What if Germany won World War II? Failure to invade Britain, inciting the United States, failure of Operation Barbarossa, a divided army, and an unwillingness to retreat. These are the decisions that lost Germany the war. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today okay. we're going to be talking- Is that Hitler? Is that actually him? Yo, bro, he's chopped. Yo, did y'all know he had this, this big ass nose on him? Oh my goodness, I can see why he's lost the war. That big ass nose probably warned the opposition. I'm so glad he, he's dead. Or did he survive? What do y'all think? Do y'all believe in that theory? We'll see. ...about a topic that historians have deliberated over the past 70 years. What would have happened if Hitler and the Axis powers had won World War II? Okay. If the Nazis had carried out Operation Sea Line earlier on in the war and were successful, in theory the United Kingdom and Ireland could have been captured, allowing Germany to then... Wait, what? The United Kingdom and Ireland could have been captured. Damn. I mean, then again, has UK ever did anything good? Now, just like all my UK viewers, I love you, bruv. Or to my mandem. Yeah, like, I appreciate you in it, bruv. But I love I love Premier League. I'm, I'm, my favorite team is Liverpool. But uh, besides that, if Germany really rated y'all, I'm not going to lie. I don't think we would be losing a lot. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. I love you, UKians. I love y'all. All right. Germany to then focus its energy on pushing into the Soviet Union. While the Soviet would largely have been absorbed by Germany, parts of it would have been given to Germany's allies, the Axis of Power, Japan and Italy. In regard Japan and Italy was siding with the ops? Hey yo, Italy, what's up? Which y'all niggas want? The only thing y'all niggas really be giving us is pizza and lasagna and them shits be mint sometimes. Yo, Italy, don't think we forgot, alright? We're, we're sliding on you next. Hey, Rome, you gonna collapse for real? All right, we gonna we gonna see a part two of a Rome collapse, nigga. Italy? How how did we for how did people just forgive Italy? Now nah, I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. To the UK, the monarchy would likely have fled to Canada. The Prime Minister Winston Churchill would have either been sent to prison or murdered. A right-wing British leader aligned with the Nazis would have been put in charge, and Britain probably still would have been Britain, but with heavy influence from Germany. Hitler okay. had his vision for European domination in the Liebenstrom plans, leading us to assume Germany would have pushed into large parts of France, absorbed Austria and Scandinavia. No more croissants? Yo, I'm I'm so glad. Wait, what is there? I'm not gonna lie. F French niggas be racist, right? I'm not gonna lie. Shit, if France was captured, no, nah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I like croissants. No, nah, I don't want France to be captured. Which would have mostly become a wider part of the Germanic Empire. Iran and Iraq would also have become part of the Germanic Empire, but of course. Shit, they need. The no, 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 no. You know what? Let, let me let me let me tee up. Let me tee up. Let me tee up. I didn't know. Like what the hell? I didn't know Arab niggas were siding with their people that uh, live in these countries. They're Arab, right? Y'all sided with Hitler, huh? Huh? I thought y'all. Yo, yo, I'm learning a lot of new ops. Yo, Saber, appreciate you with the big gifted man. Saber, really I do, man. Saber, really I do, man. Thank you, Saber. I appreciate you. Hitler and the power axis had plans for the rest of the world too. Italy and other allies would have been given land in Africa, with Italy reaping the lion's share of the rewards. Of course, heading up Italy, Mussolini would have remained in power and allied with Germany. Okay. In Spain, where Franco had been sympathetic to the Nazi cause, fascism would have continued to grow. Of what is fascism? Chad, I'm not gonna lie, I, 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 received, I, I had an A in history, but I don't remember a single thing. Do y'all still remember that shit? Uh, what, what is fascism? I know about democracy. I know it was I don't know what fascism is. The Commonwealth countries, Canada was already independent, but Australia was not. Perhaps Japan would have tried to lay claim to Australia with Germany eyeing up Canada if a move into North America ever happened. Kinza, y'all niggas are ops too? Extreme version of nationalism? Okay, I got you. Canada's ops? Yo, I always hated you Canadians anyway. I'm not gonna lie. You guys are you guys try so hard to be America, but you're not. You're not. 
face it face it you're not you're not us you're not the uk you're you're just a mix of the uk and in the us you guys have no identity i know y'all niggas be waiting five hours to get um medicare all right y'all 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 try y'all talk about oh free health care you cannot enter the hospital the lines are pretty long as fascism flourished in the West, communism would still have been considered an enemy. It is likely that China and the now German-occupied Russia would have never become communist countries. Without the flourish of communism, it is quite possible there would have been no breakup of Korea during the Cold War, with the North never allowed to bow to Bolshevik ideals in the first place. There is one country we have yet to mention. What? The United States of America. Nigga, the greatest country in this world. America. Fuck yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really. I, the thing is that the only time I'm going to ever root for America is if we're going up against other countries. If not, then I'll just I'll just clown America. If Japan hadn't insisted on declaring war with the United States. What's good, what's good Jay? The United States of America. If Japan hadn't insisted on declaring war with the United States, the US may not have wanted to get involved in what was going on over the Atlantic, leaving Europe to its own devices. Wait, chat, what do y'all think about the US thing? Um, like, they, they don't want to be contributing to any fights or some shit. How do y'all feel about that shit? I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's, it's, it's good, don't get me wrong, but other times I be feeling like they be some injustice happening in China where people are like, you know, getting arrested and shit. And you're telling me we're just out here just idling? But I get it. We don't want to start a war and shit, but especially with China. But I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. This is one of the only ways I can see Germany having won the war in the first place. Perhaps if America had not stood up to the fascists, history as we know it would be entirely different. Two pretty major events that would not have happened would have been Pearl Harbor and the American atomic bomb drops in Japan. Chat, be honest with me. Y'all ever think we're gonna get a, a World War III? In your in your lifetime, do you think you're gonna see World War III? Where is Rai at? Sh you know what I did to Rai? I killed him. Is that what you wanna hear, nigga? Shut the fuck up. Yo, I'm sorry. This nigga asked that five times. Damn, nigga! Get the f Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me, let me pipe down. Why am I so... He's not here. He's not here. Damn. In GTA, that, that's what happened. But, um... Ellie Belly, oh god, you're, that VIP is getting stripped. <laughs> you better win another you better, you better win another drawing contest okay uh <laughs> what was i gonna say um what was i gonna say fuck but yeah y'all think world war three is gonna happen yeah some y'all are saying yeah i think look world war three I, I really feel like it's gonna happen it but i feel like if it does happen chat that's gonna be the end of the world bro because if u.s russia or china want to use a nuke on us or any of them yeah buddy you better be living in antarctica if you want to survive that bit because Nah, we're, we're cooked. Are y'all participating, chat? Rewriting a large chunk of history. That isn't to say that an atomic bomb of some kind would never have been dropped and nuclear weapons developed further, but it is possible that it would have been the Germans dropping it and not the Americans. The Nazis were working towards an atomic bomb of their own in a nuclear program created in 1939. Had Damn. America not been under pressure to- Yo, chat, you know what I'm so thankful of? Imagine if Germany were the were the ones that dropped the the um what you call it. Imagine if they drooped, it dropped the first nuke, the first atomic bomb. Imagine, huh? Do you know how scary that would be? No, I'm, uh, U.S. would actually be finished. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, and you know damn well with Hitler's chopped ass, little beard having ass, little mustache having ass, he would have used that everywhere, everywhere. <sighs> get there first in the midst of war, the Nazis could have won the race. If America stayed out of the war and allowed the Axis powers to flourish, it could have had a power struggle, much like the Cold War, on its horizon. Instead of a standoff against the USSR, America could have seen a standoff with power-hungry Germany, who could well have been the world's superpower at that point. Thank However, God they aren't. If Hitler had won the war and become controller of the majority of Europe, it is also fair to say that America could have have formed an alliance with the Nazis. Thousands of Americans already supported their cause, and had Roosevelt not become president, sympathizers like Charles Lindbergh could have taken office and aligned with them. Align with what? They literally gas people up. 
Yo, Amer uh, but I'm not surprised because America does have some shady shit that they be doing. So I really can't say I'm surprised. Pre-World War II, the states also had a lot of trade with Germany, with brands like Ford and Coca-Cola having vested interests in a harmony between the two countries. Had America allied... I'm still going to drink Coca-Cola, but with that being said, that's insane. I'm not going to lie. If America... What flag is this? What type of racist ass flag is this? Uh, I'm, 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 I am super glad that didn't happen. With Germany, it probably would have been largely divisive for the country. And who knows, it could have painted a backdrop for another civil war. Also, what of Japan? Had the Axis powers won the war, would Japan's strength have become as much a greater threat to the US than ever before? Would the three form alliance, or would they have a war of their own? America's post-war prosperity allowed the country a head start in the race for scientific, Facts. technological, Facts and intergalactic discovery. Soviet Russia tried its best to keep up, but it could not quite manage it. Spin the block. Spin the block, Russians. What y'all gonna do, huh? Living in a cold-ass society. I know y'all, I know y'all are sad. Y'all must be sad. I would be sad too if I was living in that in that country. Germany, on the other hand, may have done. Who is to say that had Germany won the war and flourished as a nation, they could not have been the first to create the internet, the first to establish the mobile phone, they could have even been the first to place a man on the moon. So what about the day-to-day -day life? There's okay. almost no way that Hitler would have allowed for social media, or if he did, it would have been heavily surveyed. I bet you all them TikToker 13-year-olds they got they, they could get through this whole video but when they heard that social media was not going to be allowed yeah that's when they're going to go to war <laughs> cultural landscape would be totally changed too. In a totalitarian world, Hitler's Third Reich would commission all films and television shows, with no independent art allowed to be created. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Inglorious Bastards, probably not, but if Hitler saw that movie, he would actually get, he, he would kill everyone that's involved in that movie. The same, of course, goes for books, theater, paintings, drawings, and sculptures that didn't comply with his ideals. Y'all th think Hitler would have played Fortnite? Probably not. I, I feel like the just being able to lose in the game, he's going to get mad. Works like Harry Potter would not exist, and in school, children would read Mein Kampf and train in sports. At home, mothers would be in the kitchen where Hitler thought they belonged. They he was a misogynist too? How the hell was... Wait, doesn't he have a wife? No, I'm not gonna lie, that's insane. There are so many ifs and buts and maybe surrounding the prospect of the Second World War ending differently. It's hard to say exactly what would have happened. What we know for sure is that the world would have been geographically and culturally different. Ultimately though, when one rules a society governed by fear and the elimination of choice, it is automatically unsustainable. People will never be able to act in a uniform way. We are individuals by nature, as much as Hitler did not want us to be. With that in mind, Hitler was always going to run into trouble, be it from bigger nations who did not want to fall in line, or eventually from his own people. So that is one big question. I'm glad, uh, you know, you could, okay, I'm, I'm I that concludes it. Um, we should all be happy that he's he's dead. And if anyone wants to be wants Hitler to revive or something, you're actually weird. So with that being said, YouTube, make sure you guys check us out on Twitch. Link, join the Discord. Links in the description. We're live every day, 5:30 p.m. PST. Oxford for life. Love y'all and peace.